Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on Module 3, Lesson 31, and today we're going to be looking at division problems and looking at how we can model those and solve those. So let's take a look at one of the problems from your homework. Uh, let's look at problem number 4. Problem number 4. Uh, in my class, we have a read-draw-write strategy, so I'm just going to put that up here. Read-draw-write strategy to remind us to read, draw, and write. So let's start with the reading part, and let's read along. A piece of ribbon... 876 inches long was cut by a machine into four inch long strips to be made into bows. How many strips were cut? Okay, well, let's see. If we think of this as a tape diagram, let's see, what is the hole in this problem? The hole in this problem looks to me like it is the piece of ribbon that is 876 inches long. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram where we have the hole is 876 inches long. Let's see, what's the next piece of information we have? Uh, cut into machine into four inch long strips to be made into bows. How many strips were cut? Oh, I see. So basically, if we think that there's a four inch long strip, then there's a whole bunch of these four inch long strips, but we don't know exactly how many, that use up this 876 inch long piece. So the real question is, how many four-inch long chunks, oops, how many four-inch long chunks, I'm going to have to erase that, there we go, how many four-inch long chunks can we get out of this 876-inch long piece? Well, that's a division problem, right? So let's see if we can do that as a division problem. If we had an 876-inch long piece and we divide it into four-inch segments, we could figure out how many four-inch segments we would have. So let's see if we can do that. First we look at the hundreds place and we say, how many hundreds can we multiply by 4 to fit into eight, 800? And that's real easy, right? We can fit in two hundreds. Two hundreds times 4 gives us eight hundreds, and we've used up all of our hundreds. And we just now need to pull down our next unit, which is seven tens. So now our next question, how many tens can we multiply by 4 and fit in seven tens? Well, if we could fit two hundreds in into 8, we're only going to be able to fit 1 10, right? 1 10 times 4 is 4 tens. That leaves us with 3 more tens. And now we got to pull down our last unit, which is the 6 ones. So our last question is, how many ones times 4 could we fit into 36? And if we know our multiplication tables, we know we can fit 9 ones times 4 equals 36, and it looks like we've used it all up. Our remainder is zero. We don't have any, any inches of material. And it looks like our quotient here is 219. So we would write that answer, now that we've done our drawing, we would write that answer if we were more confident of it, but we can double check our answer. So let's switch to a red pen and see if we can do the inverse operation of multiplication just to check. So we would take our quotient of 219, times our divisor of 4 and see if we get back out to our uh, dividend. So let's see. So we can just multiply 4 times 9 ones. 4 times 9 ones is 36 ones. So 6 goes here and the 3 goes up there. Then we multiply 4 times 1 ten. That would be 4 tens plus 3 more would be 7 tens. And then finally, 4 times 2 hundreds. 4 times 2 hundreds would be 8 hundreds. And what do you know? 876. Same answer there. So, are we done? Well, we have our answer, but that doesn't mean we're actually done. I'm going to shrink this just a smidge. We're done when we write our, uh, our sentence. The question they asked was, how many strips were cut? And so we need to say there were... 219 strips cut from the piece of ribbon. Two hundred and nineteen strips cut from the piece of ribbon. And that is a completion of our read, draw, and write strategy. And that I'm confident we got right. So Thank you for joining me tonight on Mr. Kong Has Problems. Hope this has been helpful and hope this helps you work through the other handful of problems, the story problems that are in uh, the lesson 
31 homework. Take care.